Hey electric car lovers, in this channel I cover all the latest tech news surrounding electric cars. I cover the background feel and drive, the current selling price and the specs and engineering that go into making each car. If you have an electric car that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm reviewing the game changer, the Tesla Model S. I'll be covering the most important features to see whether it crushes the competition or not with its major improvements in this year's version. Let's see. Oh, and one more thing before I start. Tesla have just announced their new lawnmower. It's called the Elon. Okay, now back to the video. Tesla Inc. produces the Model S, an all-electric five-door liftback. On June 22, 2012, it was first launched. In June 2021, it was given a substantial makeover. The Model S is Tesla's flagship. The Model S was the first electric car to dominate the monthly new car sales ranking in any country in 2013, topping the charts in Norway twice, in September and December 2013, and Denmark once, in December 2015. In September 2018, sales surpassed 250,000 units. In 2015 and 2016, the Model S was the best-selling plug-in electric car in the world. However, it was eventually eclipsed by the Model 3. Consumer Reports stated in an early evaluation of the Model S, this automobile outperforms anything else we've ever examined. Let me say that again, the greatest automobile will not merely the finest electric car, it handles almost everything really well. Owners have routinely asked Tesla and ranked them at or near the top of their owner satisfaction survey. The 2013 Tesla Model S was selected as car of the year by Motor Trend for the first time in its magazine's 70-year history in 2019. It's difficult to disagree with this assertion. Regardless of who you are or how you feel about electric vehicles, the Tesla Model S is right up there with the Ford Model T in terms of contribution to the automotive industry. Elon Musk and his team ultimately convinced the world that the future was electric. While Ford mastered mass manufacturing and made automobiles affordable, sure, there have been electric cars before the Model S, but they were all rather poor compared to the Model S offerings. We wouldn't have the expanding number of electric vehicles we do today if it weren't for it. And still, the Tesla Model S 2022 remains one of the most attractive and desirable alternatives in the growing market sector. Design and Engineering It's hard to spot the difference between the Tesla from last year and the facelifted model. The hood is sleeker and the haunches are more aggressive. At the back, the taillights are a little darker and the chrome strip that used to run between the light clusters have been replaced with a black strip. Overall, the Model S is a beautiful car, but it's starting to show its age. The Taycan from Porsche provides a vast range of customization choices as well as a unique style that departs from the non-defunct salon. The lights as well as the fog lights are entirely LED and there are two designs of 19-inch alloy wheels to pick from. When creating the Taycan, Porsche had a Model S clearly in mind. The Taycan is only 0.6 inches shorter in length than the 196-inch Model S. Thus, the measurements are remarkably comparable. The Tesla has a longer 116.5-inch wheelbase, which is more significant in the big picture because a longer wheelbase normally means more interior space. It's 77.3 inches wide and 56.9 inches tall, omitting the side mirrors. The Long Range Plus model has been replaced by a new Long Range variant, which has a curb weight of 4,561 pounds. That's a lot of weight for a car. The weight of the batteries is one of the major drawbacks of electric vehicles. But in the case of Tesla, they've situated low in the wheelbase to provide a low center of gravity. Tesla keeps things simple when it comes to exterior color selections. There are just five colors on the palette and they all work well to draw attention to the outside design components. The only free choice is pearl white multi-coat, while solid black, midnight silver metallic and deep blue metallic each cost $1,500. The $2,500 red multi-coat looks amazing, especially against the black exterior elements. The 21-inch arachnid wheels will set you back an extra $4,500 if you want the complete red dark contrast appearance. Interior Other manufacturers have a lot of catching up to do when it comes to charging times and infrastructure. Tesla still have a lot of catching up to do when it comes to the business of making vehicles efficiently and effectively. These two things will collide at some time in the future and the outcome will be the finest electric vehicle ever built. For the time being, let's return to the Model S interior. The new interior is a tremendous step forward. I really like the combination of powerful functionality and simplicity. The new infotainment system is more classic in design, but it functions well, even if it's just to reduce the amount of time your eyes are off the road. We like to have something separate from the center interface. 
I feel the climate control should always be a distinct function with its own buttons and that a volume slider that allows you to turn everything off with a single touch should be the same. Having said that, the shortcut buttons at the bottom of the touchscreen are really useful. The inside is fairly beautiful except from the stupid square wheel and the shaky build quality. The quality appears to be decent. But considering Tesla's track record in this area, I'll hold my judgment until it's been on the market for a long time. Another component that benefits from the skateboard design is seating and internal space. With a flat floor and a 116.5 inch wheelbase, there's plenty of room to mess around with, and Tesla takes advantage of it. The Model S seems spacious because to its simple appearance, by choosing a lighter interior hue, you may give the sense of even greater space. Legroom for front passengers is 42.7 inches, however legroom for back passengers is 35.4 inches, with 38.8 inches in front headroom. Larger passengers will struggle with the 35.3 inches of back headroom, which is notably less than the Model 3 Tesla. It keeps it inside as basic as the outside color section. There are three different trim choices available, with ebony and ash wood, inlays being the most common, the Tesla is considered as being a little too Germanic in its trim. Why take the risk of having an interior that looks so much like what we've come to expect? Upgrade to black and white synthetic leather with walnut accent for an extra $2,000. It looks fantastic, but it's probably not the ideal solution for carrying children who might be playing in the dirt. Perhaps the best of all the worlds is a cream leather with walnut accent. Tesla, where's the red leather? A red leather interior should be available on all high-performance vehicles. People have created a lot of videos over the years that focus on Tesla's incredible straight-line performance. Yes, it can outrun a Lamborghini, but did you know it can do so while transporting enough luggage for a family of four on a long vacation? The motorized liftgate displays a trunk that measures 26.3 cubic feet, putting its ice competitors to shame. A little frunk adds a little more cubes, bringing the total to 28 cubic feet. The usable capacity increases to 58.1 cubes when the rear seats are divided 60-40. Because there's no engine up front, you get a 2.1 cubic foot trunk which comes in handy for brief excursions to the shop. Teslas have always been a little gimmicky, but we'll ignore that and focus on the elements that affect day-to-day -day comfort. A tinted glass roof, tri-zone climate control, a phone key, wireless and USB-C charging for every passenger, 12-way power adjustment front seats with memory function for the driver, heated front and rear seats, ventilated front seats, a power-adjusted steering column and heated seating wheels, a driver information display with critical driving information and a rear seat entertainment system powerful enough to play DVDs are all standard features on the 2021 Model S Long Range. A rear view camera, blind spot monitoring and automated emergency braking are among the safety features. In terms of infotainment and technology, the Tesla is a real contender. The new Model S has a 17-inch touchscreen in the center that controls everything. It may also be used to view movies and play games. Tesla doesn't indicate whether this function turns off once the car is moving, which is concerning given how much trust some Tesla customers have in autopilot. Two elegant upright smartphone wireless chargers may be found beneath the new primary infotainment system. The back entertainment system has a processing capability of up to 10 teraflops, which Tesla claims is sufficient to complete with the latest consoles. Wireless controllers are provided for rear passengers who can use them to play games through Tesla Arcade. Bluetooth connection and a 22-speaker sound system are standard. Unfortunately, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are still unavailable. Tesla recommends that you use their own app, which is pretty useful. There are a slew of conspiracy theories about why Tesla won't let third-party applications operate in its vehicles, but I think it's just a case of Tesla seeking total control over its software. It makes sense not to give any kind of access to a third-party system with sophisticated technologies like autopilot. Performance The Model S delivers full-time all-wheel drive regardless of the version you pick. With an electric motor dedicated to each of the front and back axles, the different variants acceleration varied from excellence to fierce. The 2020 Model S test vehicle clocked in just 2.4 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour and provided hours of enjoyment owing to its instantaneous power delivery. A third electric motor is included in the played variant, bringing the total capacity to 760 kilowatts. Tesla hasn't revealed the beast yet, but boasts that it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour and provides hours of enjoyment owing to its instantaneous power delivery of just 2.4 seconds. A third electric motor is included in the played variant, bringing the total capacity to 760 kilowatts. Tesla hasn't revealed the beast yet, but they boast that it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2 seconds. 
This would make it one of the fastest cars up there to 60 miles per hour. The regular Model S has proven to be a responsive sports sedan with precise steering and body movements. Drivers may pick between heavy and mild steering effort in two separate settings. Although neither of them allow for additional road sensation, the ride is a comfortable and superb one and the handling is snappy according to test drivers. It's also confident and serene while on the highway. Battery Life Tesla is the king of range and the Model S long range can go 405 miles on a single charge while getting 124, 115 and 120 MPGE according to the EPA. The Model S is incredible when compared to the MPG figures of ICE vehicles with equivalent performance. Tesla also has a wide network of superchargers and new Model S can be charged at 250 kW, resulting in record-breaking charging times. Tesla boasts that a 15-minute charge at a supercharging station will get you 200 miles. With the Tesla wall connector installed in your house, you may recharge in 6 to 15 hours. The Model S's built-in navigation offers a trip planning mode that will automatically generate a route with superchargers to make travel as simple as possible. This technology has progressed to the point where it can currently detect whether a slot at a supercharger station is available. In this area, other manufacturers have a lot of catching up to do. Price and model range. The variant S has a stylistic change to the outside and inside last year, which includes a novel yoke-styled steering wheel and a monstrous 760 horsepower played performance. Model. There aren't likely to be many changes in 2022, but Tesla has announced a significant rise in the price for the standard long-range trim. Here's the price of each trim. The base long-range price is $91,190. The plate trim costs $131,190. This wraps up my review of the Tesla Model S. Let me know what you think of it. Thank you for sticking it out through the very end of this video. Nothing helps out my channel more than y'all watching the entire video. These videos take a long time to make and they are a labor of love. If you'd like to see my channel grow, please help spread the word. And until next time, remember, the best experiences aren't about where you end up, but who you're lucky enough to be on the journey with.